Water is the lifeblood of our very beings, our lives, businesses, and economy could not exist without it. The water that we drink today is the same water that has always existed. Nature recycles that water, and the Advanced Water Purification Program is essentially that same natural process accelerated. Thanks to incredible water planning, infrastructure projects, and modern treatment, it is easy to take for granted the water we have. With the turn of a knob, it flows, it's safe, and it's clean. We live in a desert, and the water we rely on to drink, support our economy, and maintain our lifestyle is imported from hundreds of miles away, from the Colorado River and from the Bay Delta in Northern California. Transporting and pumping this water to the San Diego region involves many challenges. It takes a lot of energy. It siphons water from sensitive ecosystems, and it's expensive. Recycling and reusing the water we already have makes sense in San Diego County. We have little rainfall. We are at risk of drought. We are at the end of the pipeline and are subject to the ever-rising costs of imported water. Recycling water is nothing new to Padre Dam. In fact, Padre Dam is a world leader in water reuse. In the late 1950s, we began our first water recycling project for irrigation purposes. Padre Dam's Ray Stoyer Water Reclamation Facility now treats an impressive two million gallons of wastewater each day. And our Santee Lakes serve not only as an innovative water recycling project, but as an acclaimed, award-winning recreation preserve. Building on the innovative creativity from our past, the demonstration facility was built as a natural next step to evaluate the feasibility of developing a full-scale advanced water purification program for East County. The demonstration facility is a pilot project that uses state-of-the-art technologies and four highly advanced water treatment steps. The first step is free chlorine disinfection. Chlorine is mixed with recycled water from the Ray Stoyer Water Recycling Facility. The free chlorine treatment process treats and disinfects the viruses so they become harmless. The next treatment phase is membrane filtration. Here, high pressure forces water through a bundle of filters that resemble straws with microscopic holes on the sides. These filters leave particles 300 times smaller than a human hair outside of the straws and allow clean water to pass through. The third step is reverse osmosis, the same technology used to desalinate ocean water. In this step, water is squeezed under high pressure through membranes similar to plastic sheets. Particles 100,000 times smaller than a human hair and 100 times smaller than a virus cannot go through. The process removes salt, pharmaceuticals, and chemicals from the water, resulting in water that is near distilled in quality. The fourth and final phase is advanced oxidation. Here, ultraviolet light and hydrogen peroxide are used to break down molecules with light and destroy any remaining organic compounds. It is the same method used to sterilize surgical instruments and baby food jars. By the time the water leaves this last treatment step, pharmaceuticals, chemicals, bacteria, and viruses are gone. The rigorous demonstration facility testing simulates both typical and highly challenging conditions to prove that the water is safe and meets federal and state drinking water standards. Water treated at the demonstration facility is vigorously tested throughout the treatment process to ensure high quality water standards are being met. 
If the project proves to be viable and moves forward on a full-scale basis, it could provide over 2 million gallons per day of advanced purified water to Padre Dam's service area. Building on the innovative creativity of the past, the Advanced Water Purification Program will use state-of-the-art monitoring technologies to ensure a safe, local, reliable, and drought-proof water supply for East County. Advanced Purified Water. It's the clear solution.